Walsh from Limerick Institute of Technology and I'm going to talk to you about the relationships between predators and prey. What do we already know? An ecosystem is a complex network or web of interrelated and interdependent animals and plants within a common environment. Many organisms in the environment rely on other organisms for food. The feeding relationships between organisms can be shown in simple diagrams called food chains. Food webs show a more complex series of food chains with common links. Predators are animals or organisms that kill and eat other organisms. Prey are organisms that are killed and eaten by other organisms. A predator is a wild animal which hunts or preys on other animals for food. Predators are part of the food chain and typically feed on plant eaters, animals known as herbivores. Predators are generally carnivores, which are animals that only eat other animals. They feed on the flesh of animals to survive. Predators may also eat other predators too. Scavengers are predators that cannot kill their own prey, but will eat the leftover scraps and carcasses of an animal that has died or been killed by something else. Predators live all around us. They can be found on any continent of the world. They live in different habitats, including aquatic, forest and woodlands, grassland, desert and tundra habitats. Predators come in all shapes and sizes and they can hunt and catch their prey in different ways. Cheetahs use their teeth and claws. Falcons use their feet. These animals are different species or types of predators. Cheetahs might be better at hunting antelopes, but falcons might be better at hunting small rodents. These are adaptations that these animals have evolved over millions of years to survive. The word prey refers to an animal that is hunted and killed for food by another animal. Prey can evolve to escape predators too. These animals use camouflage, another adaptation to hide from predators. Prey can also be a verb to describe the actions of a predator. Some plants are also carnivorous. The Venus flytrap is a predatorial plant that feeds on insects to get nutrients as the soil it lives in doesn't give it enough to survive. Predators have different strategies to hunt, catch and kill their prey. This is determined by their genetic makeup their speed, agility, and how they kill or injure their prey. The habitat they live in also plays a role in how a predator hunts. Some, some animals will ambush their prey by waiting patiently for a good time to capture them by stealth or surprise. They will sometimes stalk their prey by slowly following it. There are also different adaptations for killing prey. Teeth, tongues, claws, poison. Predators can also use camouflage to help them attack. Some animals run to escape from a predator. Animals may also signal to others that danger is near. If a predator is too close to the animal and it cannot run away or hide, the prey may freeze. Sometimes being very still can help the animal go unnoticed by the predator. 
Also, the colour of the prey's body can help it camouflage itself. This diagram shows a predator-prey relationship graph. The predator-prey relationship is used to describe how two different species interact in the wild. The predator will hunt the prey for food. Their populations will fluctuate over time in a related way. An example, as shown here, is wolves hunting rabbits. If the rabbit population increases, it will support larger numbers of predators. However, if the population of rabbits decreases for any reason, the wolf numbers would also decline. In conclusion, animals display a variety of behaviours in predator-prey relationships. These adaptations help them survive. Thank you for listening and please check the project portal for more resources on predator-prey relationships.